Evolution is a fantasy, but that is exactly what I am telling you. As a world... Where's your sidekick, Taggart? Six months ago, Seraph Industries was attacked by mercenaries whose objective was to cripple our research. But I've learned the attack was just a smokescreen. Megan Reed's team was kidnapped, and Isaiah Sandoval, your personal aide, was involved. <laughs> that is ridiculous. Ladies and gentlemen, I apologize for Mr. Jensen's intrusion, and I assure you that these accusations are without basis. Are they? This is Sandoval. Why are you calling me here? There's been a change of plans. Seraph's team must not make it to the hearing. But that's too soon. If you want me to remove the GPLs, I'll need a full operating suite. Does the facility have one? That's your man, Taggart. Talking about removing implanted GPL devices so that the people who took Seraph scientists could cover it up. I see what's going on here. Seraph Industries has received two black eyes in the last few days. The first due to the shocking news coming out of Montreal that biotech companies are secretly participating in unethical super soldier experiments. And the second as a result of their violent escalation of today's peaceful protest. David Seraph and his corporate bedfellows are desperate and in imminent danger of losing the regulation vote, so this man has been sent here to attack my reputation. I'm right here, Taggart. Look at me. I admit, I wouldn't feel bad if your reputation was damaged in front of the press, since you've been doing the same to my colleagues for years. But that's not why I'm here. Seraph scientists are alive, and it's time for the truth to come out. The truth, Mr. Jensen, is that this recording of yours proves nothing. It could have been made by anyone in the world with a grudge against humanity front, and you are our prime suspect. You're right, it's not enough to get a conviction. But it's enough for a search warrant. That's all I want, Taggart. Why are you standing in the way? I'm not. I'm trying to protect... Look, Mr. Jensen. I know why you came here instead of taking your recording to the police. I know the real reason for your accusations, and you're not entirely to blame for what you're doing. It is common, after trauma such as the one you suffered, to fixate on the event, to stay blocked in the past. In a word, you're obsessed. You're right. Picking up my life after that surgery was the hardest thing I've ever done. Hell, first time I saw myself in a mirror, I smashed the damn thing. But I've gotten past it, because I know that what I need to do to make things right is help the other victims of that attack. Well, you may have a point. Perhaps. If you could see your situation clearly, you would realize you're being driven by your losses. Your actions are motivated by an attempt to regain a sense of control at my expense. You're turning me into your enemy when I'm not. Of course I want control. Every time I touch something, I wonder, just for a second, every time, if what I'm feeling is real. It's a bit like being in charge of an organization, I bet. You always know what the people at Humanity Front, your people, are doing? Of course not. Well, that is to say, I don't need to. From the very day I founded Humanity Front, I made it clear that the group would be devoted to non-violent resistance. To deviate from this would mean dishonoring the memory of the very woman whose murder caused me to found the organization. Mr. Jensen, how can you possibly accuse me of doing otherwise? I know about your wife's murder, Mr. Taggart, and how it led you to start Humanity Front. 
I've lost someone close to me too, but I have a chance to get her back. If Sandoval is involved in Megan's abduction in any way, he dishonored your wife's memory. For her sake, and for the sake of my people, I need to know where he is. All right, Mr. Jensen. You're right. For Marjorie's sake, I can't risk tainting the integrity of what I built in her name. I'll help you find Isaiah, and I pray that you are wrong about him. Ladies and gentlemen, I apologize, but I'm going to have to beg your indulgence for a few moments more. You will all please remain patient. I will return as soon as I can. Thank you. Mr. Jensen, I'll see you backstage. Mr. Jensen, I appreciate you allowing me to deal with this in a more discreet manner. Save it, Taggart. You've wasted enough of my time as it is. Now, where's Sandoval? He has an apartment he uses when in this city, on Grand River Road. He mentioned he was feeling very run down, so I can only assume he went there. I see. He's not an evil man, Mr. Jensen. If he's done what you say, it's only because of his brother, Ezekiel. A man you might know better as Zeke Sanders. Sanders? The man who attacked Sarah's manufacturing plant? I knew nothing about it until after it was over, and then I tried, I, I tried to convince Isaiah not to follow in his footsteps. Good job. Mr. Jensen, please. Isaiah has done so much for so many needy people, people suffering from implant rejection. Promise me you will deal with him fairly. That all depends on Isaiah. I. I understand, but please try. After viewing controversial satellite footage uncovered by Pikus, Detroit, Toronto, Come on, come on! Jensen? I almost didn't recognize you. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, what are the chances? Do you remember me? I was a rookie when you still rolled in SWAT. Nikki, of course I remember you. How you been?
stand at the edge. This is almost too Put that away. Jensen. Brent Radford. In the flesh. How do you know my name? Answers for favors. You need a doctor. No. I'll be. Did you find the kit? This should help with the pain. Those sons of bitches. I should have seen it coming. Seraph. Detective. Or I was. What people? No time to, to go into details. Focus, Red. I put it all. I mothballed the case in storage. I'm leaving. But I'll call in an ambulance. You'll be okay. No. Those fucking animals. I'm sure it's not as bad as you think. I know what morphine does. You need a doctor. I ain't turning into no freak. Radford. Is this what you really want? There's a bear. Pope in the woods. <laughs> Last chance, Brent. Just fucking do it. It'll be quick. I know. The ones that did this. I'll find them. Look at you. An iron g g giant with a heart of g g gold. B b b but don't do, do it f for me. D d do it. For her, for M M M Michelle, you owe her here life. Richard, I located Radford. He was attacked by men in suits. Private security, secret service types. I'm going after them. What about Radford? Did you get anything out of him? He didn't make it. There was nothing I could do. Right. I'll call it in. You have a new lead, at least? Yeah. I'm on my way there now. I'll contact you when I have more.
reacting. Yeah. They tripped me from behind and stripped me of my purse. Are there any Sorry, but we've diverted all the trams. There are no more coming to the station. Sorry, I can't let you into the station. Nothing will delay this. Access granted.
course he is. I know Mr. Da Mr. Gray is landing tonight. We're working on it, yeah. Listen, believe me. Don't right. tell me you didn't hear that. Were you asleep or something? You're imagining. <laughs> Keep him dead! <laughs>
did I leave? No, I'm um, <laughs> Brent Rat. Yeah. Oh, the book is the this is what? So my why? Thank you, dear. Pritchard, I need you to assign a temporary security detail to an apartment on Brooklyn Court. A until I can figure out a more permanent solution. The woman's name is Walters, Michelle Walters. Security detail? What the hell, Jensen? Who is this woman? She's family, but she's vulnerable. I'll explain later. Just do this for me, please. And not a word to Seraph. Can I trust you on this, Pritchard? Christ, Jensen. All right, all right, I'll do it. But there better be a damn good reason for this. There is. I'll fill you in next time I see you. But right now I need to get back to work. And Pritchard, thanks. Yeah, yeah. Richard, looks like Sandoval's got a secret bunker. I'm gonna flush him out. Let's hope he's still there. Nothing. Hey, maybe it's your old lady.
Sounds like something moving around. Yo, he's fast, son. If Sandoval doesn't come out of there in a few minutes, I'm going in. No, you're not. He's on the edge. There's no telling what... He'll do. More of a reason to go in there and talk. What the hey. fuck's that? <laughs> Better get... Back up. Access granted. And this is why I urge every member of my staff, every man and woman dedicated to the true mission of the Humanity Front, to do the same. I say yes. If you're watching this, I beg you, do not allow misplaced anger to destroy everything we have struggled to achieve. It's over. He knows I can't come back from that. Everybody knows, Sandoval. You can't hide from what you've done. What I've done, Mr. Jensen? I spent years patching people back together from augmentation botch jobs and systemic organ rejection brought on by implants. And now, because of Bill's betrayal, I'll never practice medicine again. You really want to help someone? Tell me where Seraph scientists are. I wish I could, Mr. Jensen. But my involvement ended right after I failed to remove their GPLs. You failed? Turns out, my surgical skills weren't good enough to bypass David Seraph's insurance policy. So for all I know, those little implants are broadcasting right now. On a frequency so low, your network specialist wouldn't think to look for it. You changed the frequencies. You have your answers, Mr. Jensen. And I've lost all of mine. The courts may think I have much to atone for, but my court will be a higher one. A young medical. How... How about I take that gun with me when I go? You got everything you came for. Please, just leave. Believe it or not, I'd rather you didn't kill yourself. That's because you have no idea what tortures I've endured. The guilt, the shame. I was told the scientists would be used to find a peaceful solution to the augmentation crisis. Instead, I was involved in kidnapping and murder. My life ended that night. It's time for me to go. Think about it. 
Are you really in such a hurry to face that higher court of yours? At least there are no lies before God. Did you see that abominable press conference? William Taggart all but accused me of terrorism. He claimed that all the violence committed in the name of our cause was the result of my influence. So stay alive long enough to tell him your side of the story. He already knows it isn't true. I trusted that man. For years I gave him loyal service and he betrayed me. He sacrificed my freedom and good name to save the reputation of his organization. It's no use fighting him. He'll just spin it again. At least if I die, he'll never be able to use me again. Look, I understand your situation better than you think. I quit the force because I couldn't stand what the people in charge were doing to it. But they went to the press and told them I'd been the problem the whole time. Power always sacrifices its subordinates to save itself. But you have my word. You can get through this. I appreciate your faith in me, Mr. Jensen. And remembering that others have gone through similar events can be helpful. But is it enough? It wasn't enough to be a doctor or to attack the infection at its source with Humanity Front. I had to try harder to help people, and I pushed too far. What else could I have done? How do people live in a world surrounded by human misery every day? Or am I the only person who feels this way? You've got to be kidding me. You can do anything you put your mind to. You've earned yourself a doctorate. You became second in command to one of the most powerful men in the country. And you still kept trying harder. You've got more spirit than most people who think they're successful. Spirit isn't the same as strength, Mr. Jensen. For it to work, it needs to be pushed in the proper direction. Ever since the kidnapping, I've been haunted, knowing I'm partly responsible for innocent people losing their lives. The shame I feel, the guilt. I'm a mass murderer. I can't even look my wife in the eyes knowing that. I have destroyed everything. You think you're a failure, but you're not. You're just a man who doesn't understand his own potential yet. You can still channel your regrets into something positive, be an example, teach people why violence isn't the answer. You've suffered way too much to let all that experience go to waste. I don't understand. We're enemies, but you want me to live. I deserve to die. In fact, I welcome it. But you won't let me go that easily. You've assigned me a task I cannot refuse. Take the gun. You win. Pritchard, get this. The GPLs are still transmitting. Sandoval switched them to a lower frequency. It's our only lead, Pritchard. You have to do something. I know. Listen, the riot's still blocking the street entrance. Head back to your apartment and Malik will fly you over. Maybe by the time you get here, I'll have figured out something. ...to tour our facilities firsthand. They will find nothing but order, progress, and moral responsibility. <laughs> 